hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can edit your audios using the audacity software so audacity is a free software that you can use to edit your audios so let me just open the audacity software here and as you can see currently i am recording the audio from audacity and using the camtasia so let me just stop this recording from here and let's edit this audio in audacity so first of all you need to remove the noise from the footage so for this what i can do is just select the uh, plain tra track here because you have to um, keep yourself silent for um, some seconds and after that you can start recording the audio so that you can remove the unwanted noise from your audio track so i have selected this portion here and I, what i can do is let's click on the effect here and then i will click on this option noise removal and repair and then here you can see this option noise reduction so click on here now let's click on get noise profile now what i can do is just select control plus all to select the whole track here and then i will do the same process click on the noise removal and repair click on the noise reduction here and here i will click on the simply ok button so here the audacity software will remove the unwanted noise from this footage so let me just play the audio for you hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can edit your audios using the audacity software okay so now let's add some effects in this track so what i can do is select control all here and then i will click on the effects here and then i will click on the equalizer and filters and here i will click on the filter curve equalizer so i will click on the second option here and from the preset i will click on the factory preset here and i will click on the base boost and i will click on apply here so the base boost is applied here now i will do the same click on effect click on the equalizer and click on filter curve equalizer and then i will click on the treble boost here now let's click on apply here and i will do the same again with filter crop equalizer and the preset i will click on this option ro low roll up for speech so i will click on here now let's click on apply so i have applied three effect in this track then i will click on the effects here and click on volume and compressions and i will click on amplify and let's click on apply here and again i will click on effect and uh, i will click on volume and compression and i will click on normalize now let's click on apply so we have done the audio editing of this audio now listen the audio again hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can edit your audios using the audacity software so you can clearly see the difference in the audio so in this way you can edit your audios in audacity but one thing to note that you can automate this process you don't have to manually click on this five effects again and again every time because it is a lengthy process and it, to save the time you can automate this process using the macros so let me just show you how you can do that so let me just uh, just undo the all the effects from this track here and then what i can do is i will just remove the noise from this track so i will click on effect here and i will click on the noise removal and click on noise reduction now let's click on get noise profile and then i will click on select all and then i will click on the noise removal and noise reduction and i will click on ok and after that i will add a preset so i don't have to apply the same effects again and again with every tracks so what i can do is i will click on the macro manager here and then i will create a new macro so i will click on the new button here and let's say our custom preset so you can name it every anything like that so i will name it like our custom preset and i will click on ok and then i will add the effects one by one so i will click on insert here and let's go to the equalizer here here it is filter cop equalizer so let's click on here and let's click on edit parameter here and here in the factory preset let's select the base boost now let's click on apply here and let's click on ok so the base boost effect is added so in the same way i will click on insert here 
and then I will click again search for the filter curve equalizer here and let's click on edit parameter here and let's click on this option treble boost now let's click on apply here and let's click on ok now again let's click on insert here and let's search for the filter curve equalizer and let's click on edit parameter here and let's select this factory preset and I will click on low roll up for speech now let's click on apply and let's click on ok so we have added three effects still now let's click on insert here and I will click on the amplify option here and I will click on ok now let's click on insert effect again and let's click on normalizer so let's find it here and here it is now let's click on ok so we have added all the effects here and then you need to add the preset like export so you can easily export the audio from here so let's click on export as web file or you can select the export as mp3 so let's click on export as web mp3 format web audio format here let's click on ok here and let's uh, save these settings and let's click on close okay now what i can do is just click on the tools here and i will click on apply macros here and i will select this option our custom preset and it will apply all the effects and ask you to save the track so let me just save the track here like this and let me just select a folder from here and let's click on save here and let's click on ok so our audio track is saved to our computer so let's go to the location here so let's click on document here and as you can see that the edited audio is here and let's play the audio first hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can edit your audios using the audacity so as you can see that our edited audio is now saved to our computer so in the same way you can easily add all the effects with a single click and you just need to create a macros and apply the macros in the audacity software so this is how i edit my audios using the audacity software and if you don't want this portion then you can just select this option and hit the delete button from the keyboard and delete unwanted portion from here and you can also add apply different um, effects in this audacity software but these are the five to six effects that i mostly use in my audios so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any queries regarding audacity then you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next video thank you